Now let's see what are the assumptions of production function. First assumption is particular unit of time. Production function is always expressed in some unit of time. That is per day, per week, per month, per year. There has to be some unit of time in which the production function is expressed. Second, we consider that the technology remains constant. The technological knowledge or know-how remains constant. That means the firm or the entrepreneur does not adapt or adopt a better technology or he does not adopt a worse technology. It remains constant. The next assumption is factors of production are divisible into most viable units. That the factors of production can be divided in such a way that the requirement of each of them can be suffice. Let's say if I require 87 labors, I can recruit 87 labors only. It should not be like I have to recruit a lot of 100 labors or I have to recruit a lot of 10 labors each. So in that case, I may need to require 90 or 100 labors as the case may be. But the labors are divisible here. So I can employ as many labors as I want. So factors of production are divisible in the most viable units. And the last assumption is the producer is using the best technique available. Now you might think that this is a contravention to the second assumption which is technological no technological knowledge is constant. Here it is given that the producer is using the best technique which is available. But that does not mean he has to go on improving his techniques. He has to go on getting or adapting a better technology. Once he starts, the technology remains constant. However, when he starts, he is using the best technique or the technology. 